The Grumman Tract Levitated Research Vehicle is a pioneering project in high-speed rail transportation developed by the American company Grumman in the late 1960s. The project aimed to create a vehicle that would not touch the ground during movement, utilizing an air cushion to eliminate friction and enhance speed. The United States Department of Transportation actively supported the project, providing partial funding and assisting with the construction of a test track. The train was designed to operate on a unique track system consisting of a flat concrete surface with vertical side walls rather than traditional rails. The vehicle featured two specialized bogies at the front and rear, each equipped with four air cushion units, two beneath the bogey and two on the sides. These air cushions lifted the vehicle above the track and kept it centered between the side walls, allowing for smooth movement and efficient cornering. Powered by three Pratt and Whitney J52 turbojet engines, the train used these engines to both lift the vehicle and propel it forward. The engines also played a role in braking, with reversible exhaust nozzles to slow the vehicle down. The train's body was designed with a streamlined nose cone and a wide tail section housing the engines. The central part of the body contained specialized equipment and fuel tanks for kerosene. Construction of the train was completed in 1972, with the vehicle weighing approximately 25,000 pounds. Initial tests on a specially built concrete track were successful, with the vehicle reaching speeds up to 258.4 miles per hour. However, challenges arose during high-speed cornering as the air cushions struggled to maintain stability, requiring the vehicle to slow down to 90 miles per hour for safe maneuvering. Despite its innovative design, the train project faced significant hurdles. The need for specialized tracks made it impractical for widespread use, and the high costs associated with building such infrastructure were deemed unsustainable. Additionally, the vehicle's handling issues during high-speed cornering posed safety concerns and limited its potential for commercial application. By the end of 1972, the decision was made to discontinue further development of the train. The test track was dismantled and the prototype vehicle was sent to the Pueblo Weisbrod Aircraft Museum in Colorado. In 2010, it was transferred to the Pueblo Railroad Museum, where it remains on display today, serving as a testament to the ambitious and innovative spirit of the project. The Grumman Tract Levitated Research Vehicle stands as a notable example of early experiments in high-speed rail technology, highlighting both the potential and the challenges of implementing advanced transportation systems.